Hi, I'm Dr. Tingle Storm, but you can call me Stormy. Thank you so much to Dr. Lucy for allowing me to take care of your ears. Of course, after such a thorough and cleaning, I am very honored to be topping this relaxing experience. This is your ear, okay? Let's assume that this is your ear. So, the ear reflexology treats the ear as the human body. So, you can imagine that, like, it's a fetus, you know, where this is the head, this is the spine, these are the feet. So, in your ears, there are so many pressure points, okay? And if we touch and stimulate them, of course, your entire body is going to receive lots of benefits, okay? So, this part right here that I am going to stimulate in a second on you is uh, the head, the jaws, the teeth. Okay, moving up we have our cervical area, then the shoulder, and of course we're moving on to the legs and the feet. And here instead, in the inner part, is where we have all our organs particularly here we have the digestive system so it's definitely something that I'm going to work on as well okay so I'm going to start to focus on one ear at a time. So I'm starting from the top. The healing. So now I'm going to have to take off my gloves for this part as I want my hands to glide on you. So I don't have long nails, so you're not going to feel them onto your ears, onto your skin, okay? But again, I'm just going to... Really? 
Towards the shoulders and the cervical areas, working on the bl on the rub, working on the lobe and on the cervical area is very important to release the tension. And if you have a headache or a migraine, this is good. Now I'm going to massage in here, so in this part right here where you have your organs and I'm going to really stimulate the digestive system as well, okay? So let me just get started.
any better already? I'm just gonna put it on again, okay? Just for you to relax. here
did so first, so I'm gonna start with this brush again. I'm just going to go very gently, very gently brush into this ear. Can you press it back? Okay, can you close that ear and feel and is the sensation? Now instead, I'm going to wiggle my fingers like that. I need you to tell me when you stop hearing them, okay? Or if they are close or far away, okay? Good. Good. Okay. What did you get up to? Can you still?
there. I am Nurse Tingle Storm, but you can call me Stormy. And I am here to take care of your vitals after the amazing exam that Dr. Maple performed on you today. So you must be a little bit tired. That's absolutely normal. It's uh, because you invest so much energy in the exam, okay? And you get that tingly sensation that makes you wanna sleep, so we are now here to make sure that you can relax and take your time to rest, okay? As this is all you need for your heart, mostly, okay? Um, after, of course, Dr. Maple's reassurance. Um, I just want to ask you to completely relax as I take your vitals, okay? I'm gonna start by listening to your heart, in fact, okay? I want you to breathe normally as I listen to your heartbeat. Just do some slow, steady breaths for me as I listen to the changes in your heartbeat. Alright, wonderful. Definitely Dr. Maple made an awesome job at making you much calmer and this makes my job easier. <laughs> Let me just write down this as a note for the upcoming doctors that might visit you. I've got 
gotten the question a couple times. No, you are fine, okay? Let me just listen to your heartbeat and the pressure. Okay. Alright, everything is uh, nice and steady here. That's great. So I'm going to unwrap the cup. Oh, you're free to be yourself again. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, getting rid of my uh, stethoscope. And now I would also like to take your oxygen saturation in the blood. So if I could please have your finger. Okay. Oh, nice. Okay. 98. Not bad at all. Okay. You can now relax. Very good. Um, I just want to check your temperature to really make sure that you have no fever, okay, gently open your mouth, okay we're gonna keep the thermometer for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. almost done, eight, temperature is perfect. That's fantastic. I am very happy to hear that. So another thing that I would like to do is the heart exam can be a little bit um, dry in your skin as you know you have all that auscultation and attention in your heart area. I just want to apply a moisturizer Okay, like that. This is a little bit of a rich and dense formula. But it's really going to hydrate your skin
April Fools. I post this while you're here. Why don't you just allow me to relax here? Ala Mr. Jonathan Torson style.
for you with the light Thank you. 
Thank you for allowing me to perform this session on you today. I hope you enjoyed it. And of course, if you want to see recent courses, you can my channel. Thank you, Jonathan, for this ASMR swap for today. Bye. Hi. Thank you for having me in this collab. It's Tingle Storm ASMR, and I am from Italy. I was very debated what to bring today here and I was about to take you to my bathroom and show you my bidet but then I took it back and I decided to use pasta pasta is typical from I would say. And that it comes in many shapes. Many shapes and sizes. And you can eat it in a soup. Or you can eat it with just a salt. Up to your preferences. The difference between spaghetti or spaghetti, as we say here, and bucatini is a shape. They apparently look the same, right? Long, 
But Bucatini are like straws. You cannot drink from them. But they are empty inside like a cannula. Whereas spaghetti do not have this characteristic. In fact, bucatini comes from the word bucato, which means pierced, because they are they are pierced inside. Please, when you cook spaghetti or bucatini or whatever that is, do not break them in half when they're raw. Just place them inside the pot that is boiling water so they will slowly be soft enough for you to bend them with a spoon on top until they can be completely soaked in water. What I really like about fusilli is that they have this shape right here. They have this shape right here. You really feel the flavor of the kind of pasta that you're eating. There is always instructions on how to prepare it. So make sure you boil the water and add some salt in it. And only when water is boiling, you can add the pasta. This kind of pasta usually needs an average of 10-11 minutes to be cooked. I would suggest 10, then you strain it, and then you let it uh, melt with the sauce for about 1 to 2 minutes, so you will get that perfect al dente feel that Italian people love so much. I hope you enjoyed this little pasta <laughs> masterclass. Subscribe to Miss Cheek's channel as well as to all the participants here. And thank you so much for your time and attention. Bye! You want me to fix those? Okay, let me see. Give me your hand. Did you bite your nails? Did you get into a fight or something? Okay, I cannot do miracles, but I will try, okay? I'm firstly going to use this Eva. Okay, give me your hand. Okay. This finger is really messed up. What did you do, honey? Oh, wait. Damn, it's no longer working. <sighs> okay, I'm going to hand file it. Okay, give me those. Nails right there. Good. Like, I need a miracle here.
Was it painful? I'm sorry. I just got too caught up in the situation. Oh, again? Okay, okay, you know what? Let's just put this aside. We don't need that. Okay, I am just going to push down your cuticles, okay? this little edge, okay? But do you bite your nails or do you pick your skin? Because it's such a mess here. Okay. Nervous. You're nervous and then you pick your skin like that. Have you ever heard of ASMR by any chance? That's supposed to reduce stress and anxiety. I definitely recommend you to listen to ASMR rather than doing this to your nails, honey. Okay, I think I'm going to push your cuticles another time a little bit like that. Maybe I'm going to wet your hands a little bit, okay? So that it's going to be a little bit easier. Okay, and then let's get back to business, okay? Alright. It's just that I'm not used to such a mess. I'm gonna try to file again because I need to even those out, honey. I need to, yeah. Okay. We're definitely going somewhere. I'm now just using this little finger right here to um, let the polish dry, okay? Just rest your hands, keep them relaxed. 
It was great to do your nails today. Thank you for this opportunity. And I will see you next time. Bye. to take a moment and close your eyes and deeply breathe. Feel the air entering your nostrils. Feel it deeply spreading into your body.
best out of it. And today, you are finally receiving the wisdom that you need. to start living your best life to start receiving all the good